Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and today I'm going to talk about a next uh, version of what I talked about yesterday, which is filtering a table visual in Power BI using a character slicer, but this one is affecting uh, on the first, the second, and the third characters, showing all text values that include all of these combination of characters, uh, starting with these. Let's see how it works. In yesterday video, I explained how you can have a slicer that has all characters in it and you can select the character and the table shows all names with that character in it. But then let's say what if you want to have the first few characters. Uh, similar to train uh, ticketing, uh, let's say, machines that uh, user go and enter the first character and it will show all possible options with the first character, then user might select the second character and it shows all possible options with the first and the second character and then the third character, right? Uh, so how this works, uh, this works with a bunch of uh, parameter tables and uh, DAX expression. Let's see how this is possible. If you are interested to learn the simple way of doing it with one uh, slicer, check out my other uh, video. And all of these DAX expressions and things like that, you can find it in my blog post. Um, you can download the actual file with all of these DAX expression because there's a bit of expression in this example. Uh, I have one table for customer here which has list of all customers and their names. This is the field that I'm filtering. I've created an alphabet table with a generate series function that gives me list of all characters from A to Z. Then I created two copies of this using a simple all of that alphabet table. This is a way that we usually use to create role playing dimension. And uh, similar to that, another table with that. So I basically have three tables uh, as my parameter tables. They are all the same, just named differently. Alphabet, I use that for the first character, then the second character, the third character, and my customer table. They have no relationship together because I'm using these as a, as a parameter table. Now, uh, I go and add three slicers with uh, one of these in each. So the first one comes from alphabet table, the second one comes from second character, the third one comes from third character. Um, then I have to filter these visuals and also the table visual based on some DAX measures, right? Uh, you see this list of characters are less than others. The reason is that I've already filtered it. Now let's see how the filtering works or what uh, measures we need for that filtering. Um, we need a set of measures that check, is it the first character, the second character or the third character? This is one measure here I used, a very simple calculation that search within that full name. Uh, with the selected value of the first slicer, if it is in uh, position number one, that means this is uh, this is the first character. So if this returns one, this is the first character. I have also another one here, similar to that for the second character. If it returns two uh, for the second character, then it is. Uh, it is the second character and the reason I'm checking is blank is that in case that someone select the first character but not the second character, it still returns a value that the table visual can show. And the third character match is similar process, it's checking, checking the third um, uh, position and if it just returns three, that means the third character matched. Now based on these three, I create two other visual, two other measures, one is uh, second characters, which is all possible second characters options based on the select current selection that we have. So first I filter all the characters to get um, only those that their first character matched. Uh, I get their second character using these expressions and then get a list, uh, get the distinct list of those second characters. And then I check if this second character is in the selection criteria of the second slicer. So altogether, this measure will give me all possible second character options 
based on the first character selected, right? So here you can see that, for example, if I select W, this shows that if W is selected, these are all second characters options. Uh, similar to that, I have also one for third characters, which based on the first character match, the second character match, this gives me all third character options. Again, you can download all of these tax expressions uh, from my blog uh, link down in the description below. Now, the last step after creating these five measures is that uh, is that you filter these visuals based on those measures. The second character visual, I filter it with the second character's measure and I set it to be equal to one. If it is not one, then it is not the second character of that specific selection. And that is the result why when I click on K, this shows all of these because these are the only second option for K as the first character, right? That, that filter is doing that. Now on the third character visual, I filter on third characters to be equal one as well. And on the table visual, I put the three uh, measures here. First character matched one, second character matched two, and third character matched three. Uh, as a result, when I select a first character, it shows me all possible second character options. Then I select the second character, it shows me all possible third character options. Um, and you can change it and get all different options available, right? Uh, you can write these measures in different ways. This is only one of the ways that I wrote this measure. I'm pretty sure that Power BI will have this ability to search within your table with just entering your uh, expression sometime soon. But until then, you can use this approach. And the main learning about this scenario is how to use parameter tables, how to use DAX and filtering visuals based on DAX to achieve something that is not possible normally in Power BI. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.